was of YouTube Dot Kemp here. I received a special request from Raphael Williams to do a breakdown on the song Total Praise. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that for you. Um, let me let me say a couple things before I begin to play. This is a very um, dynamic and spiritual song, and so that when you play it, it 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 it, it, it's, um, it thrives in you. It, it it's alive in you, and and you have to play it that way. It's it continues to move. It moves. Uh, of course, it was written uh, by a genius in the gospel music uh, industry, R Richard Smallwood, and uh, it helps to study his music, and um, because his music is like that of none other or no other uh, in the profession, in the gospel music profession. So study Richard Smallwood and that will enable you to um, play this as well as other gospel music at a much higher uh, level. So let's let's go ahead and get started um, with my breakdown of Total Praise. I guess what I'll do first is I'll is I'll play through the song and then um, come back and show you um, how I how I approach how I approach uh, playing it here on the uh, Hammond B3 organ. Okay, total praise.
So let's do the breakdown on this now. Okay. When you start out on this song, or when I start out on this song, I started out um, just the two uh, white draw bars here out because I want it soft. song on going to a crescendo okay so I want and, and with this song you want to allow yourself room to build throughout the song so the bass the bass foot starts here on the C flat and then you, and then you and then the bass goes up to the A flat so you go and then the left hand, you got a five finger chord here in the left hand, so it's like this. And then it's gonna drop the thumb down to the C, like that. And this is just a simple bridge into the and going into the song. Simple bridge to the to the song itself. And then the right hand, and you can do a five finger chord there. All black notes, and then drop this. This finger here, this fourth finger, down to the C. It's like that. Get used to using all your fingers. Here's where it sounds when you play. So that's it right there, see? So that's how you get that full sound. And all I'm doing is doing. sharps you continue to use sharps or if you're talking about flats you continue to say flat so forgive me for mixing them up okay you just find it all right all right so I'll do the, I'm just doing the best I can to, 
to help you out there. All right, here you go. Christmas time right there, okay. And that's the chord you want in that left hand. There you go. And you got the same chord in the right. And you just hold it and move with your bass foot. See, so you hold it. And then here's your next chord. And you move that bass one. Okay, let's get that. Okay, let's go. And then you move your left foot. You move your foot. Now here's your first chord change. See that? C, B flat, A flat. That's um, F sharp or G flat, E flat. Right 
F sharp, E flat, C sharp, B flat, F sharp. So I'm here now, here man. I'm here. Now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start moving up the scale with my right hand. I'm gonna start moving up the scale. One, two, three. In order to do that, that's 
a bad move. You have to practice it, I mean, <laughs> hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. In order to do it right, you and, and, and get it right when you're playing for for a choir, you have to you have to know it. You have to you have to feel it. it has to be there. And you come like so you go. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's look at it again. Let's look at it. Let's look with it. Let's do it again. Here we go. So you. Go. for that is a B and to the B flat. B down to the B flat. B down to the B flat. Okay? So, and in the left and the left hand it's a E flat and an A. It's two two finger to a three finger chord like that to a triad. Alright? A flat, right there. Yeah. That's the 11. That's where it sounds together with the A bass. So left hand, left hand. Is
That's what you're playing. However you want to play it. So however you want to finger that. And just bring that bass. Bring a That's on a beat. High beat. Okay, I go. Let your right hand do most of the work. Let the right hand do the majority of the uh, work there, okay? So just... Okay, let's stop here. Let's stop here and then we'll pick it up in another video. Okay? We'll we'll pick we'll we'll start at this point in the next video because that's that's <laughs> Peace out.